Hi, it's Faye from Faye's Journal Emporium. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me this morning. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, I'm sharing a couple of Christmas style journals based on uh, the idea of a Christmas ball. Um, and they are um, document style journals. I was inspired by some kits by Uniquely Ella Designs and Raindrop Lila Digitals. And I'm just really happy to have worked on these. They were a lot of fun to make. So let's get started and, and I'll share them. Um, they're both gonna be available in my Etsy shop when this video goes live. And they do come with an extra little bag of goodies um, for whoever purchases the journals. So I'll start with this one. <coughs> There's the little bag here. As I said, it's called the Christmas Ball. Uh, they are document style journals. They are uh, tied shut with sari silk ribbon. I have used lots and lots of laces and um, some vintage pieces. This one has the piece on earth. This is from Tim Holtz. And then some la vintage lace and some vintage tatting and a vintage little button on the cover. The covers are uh, digital downloads, um, and I have used um, card stock, uh, excuse me, a file folder, so they're really sturdy. So this is the first one. And as I said, the kits are just gorgeous. Lots of journaling space. The covers of the um, signatures are I printed on cardstock, so they're really sturdy. The journals measure um, 11 and a half by four and three quarters, and they have uh, 80 pages. Front and back, some beautiful sari. Whoops. And the idea is that the, all these ladies have gone to a Christmas ball, so these are the kinds of things that you would see. I did a flip here so that there's journaling space on the back of this card and then you can journal on this page. Lots of pretty images. There's a tuck spot here with a journaling card and some lace. Uh, there's some vintage lace here and there's a little bell clip to that piece. Another page. There's journaling space on these. Writing space here. There's a glassine bag in this one, and there are two journaling cards. I'm not going to take those out. Room to journal there. Some lace digital. Just really super pretty pages. Some vintage crocheted lace on this. There's a little journaling card here. And there's a little piece of doily there. Vintage music page that I've tea dyed. This is an idea I got from Carol Laws and I love her work. And this is uh, using one of the uh, bank checks from Lorna at, Lorna at Taylor Made Designs. And I used one of Sam Poole's little um, labels. There's some vintage lace here and I've spattered uh, some gold ink on that. And this opens up and there's a little, two little tags in here, journaling space on the back of that. And then this is a large tag and there's journaling space on the back. And it just fits, fits here and clips to this page. And this is just a little added of ephemera. There's lots and lots of journaling space on the back of that. I printed it on um, parchment. And then this beautiful page. There's journaling space on. It's a really pretty design. This is... I've added a piece of lace here and there's a tuck spot with this beautiful lady and this is from... Um, believe Heather Ruby and Pearl XO 
And there's some vintage uh, tatting and journaling space on the back. The pages are so pretty in both of these kits. And then this is, there's some little goodies in here, that little envelope, it's beautiful lace. This is another uh, Carol Laws idea. <clears throat> there's a large tag here with journaling space, and this flips out. And there's a tuck spot here, and this is one of uh, Sam's pool's little Christmas stockings, and I put some lace on that. And then when it flips this way, there's a tuck spot there, and another one of these lovely ladies that's gone to the ball. Some lace here, and then there's a little, uh, this is the center fold, and there's a little tiny uh, bobble there. And then these ladies, and I put beads, bangles on the signature center. And then this is uh, the kinds of, of uh, fabric that they might have worn for their dresses or had them made. It's a little piece of taffeta. There's a design on the back of that. And there's journaling space under here. And this is from Sam Poole. Another beautiful lady in her fox or fur boa. Some tea dyed paper. Some lace here on the pocket. Another journaling opportunity. Another really pretty card. space here and then this again is Carol Laws and I've used um, an envelope and put one of uh, the lovely photos from uh, Heather and then this I thought was just perfect in here if you went to a ball you'd see gorgeous chandeliers there's a couple of little journaling cards here and this flips open, and there's a tag here with journaling space. You can write here, and then this flips all the way open, and there's journaling space there. There's some lace. I love this card. This is from the Graphics Fairy, I believe. And she looks like she's ready to go to a ball in her fur-trimmed outfit. Just clips there. And then these are, I believe, from Sam Poole, and I've used the gold ink and spattered on that. And a couple of more tags here. These ladies look, both of them are ready to go to the ball in journaling space. Just tuck in here in this pocket. Some more lovely ladies journaling space and then here's another journaling card another one of those little angel tags it's so pretty postcard and then there's some lace here and then this is uh, between Carol Laws and Wendy at Wendy's Journal Adventure um, kind of combined the idea. So this flips up in frame here. There's a little tag here that you can journal on the back and it's trimmed in some vintage lace. And then there are two journaling cards here, one with the sorry, and then this is just a large plain journaling card. And there's space on the back of that to journal. So lots of writing space. And then this is a little tuck here. This is from the Graphics Fairy and there's a little bauble here and that just tucks in right there. And some more beautiful sari. And that's this journal. And, this, and it comes, as I said, with this little envelope. Let's go. And then this is the second journal. 
that comes with her own little envelope too. This one's very similar to the first one. I've used the same kits, but not the same pages. So you'll see some different pages in this one. And on this one, I put the trim at the top with a little vintage button, the Marion Bright from Tim Holtz, the lace and the, the uh, vintage tatting. And this is the back of the journal. You see some of the same pages. I love this sari. It's like a brocade. It's so pretty. Here's a journaling card with some vintage lace on the side. And then when you flip this, you've got a flip here. <coughs> with, oh, it's not in frame, I'm sorry. And there's a little uh, ornament here and a little card, journaling card here. And just tuck into that little pocket. And there's the journaling card here. I love that. Had lots of journaling space and then these are some of the fabrics that they might have chosen for their gowns and this is a piece of vintage uh, silk that um, from the 50s that my dad brought back to my mom from Japan and there's journaling space under that another lady ready for the ball there's a, another one of those lovely little angel tags with a little bauble here and a piece of vintage lace here. Yes. And then this is a piece of, um, oh, I can't remember now. I'm sorry, I think it's mulberry. Reminded me of snow. And the music page and the lady playing the violin. Couple of tall, one tall journal card here trimmed in lace. And then this is the, one of the ones that came with the kit. There's a little um, tuck spot here with, I left the envelope open so you could journal on that. And then that clips over and then there's a little card here from the, a copy of a vintage postcard from the Graphics Fairy. Just tucks in there. Some lace trim here. And a large journaling tag with a lovely lady on it. Some trim. I love this page. And again, the chandelier. What would a ball be without a beautiful chandelier? Text in here, and then there's another little journaling card here with some lace attached. Another journaling card with some sari, this beautiful lady. And she just tucks in right there and then there's her centerfold. And here are again the little beads. And there's a little bauble added here on this piece of vintage lace. Another journaling card. And then this is a belly band, and I've got a little card clipped in there. Another couple of tags with some vintage lace on this one. I think this is from the Graphics Fairy. And there's a little die cut over here. Another envelope with some tags in it. Some more lace and a little bell. Oops. Another beautiful lady in a red gown with some brocade trim. This reminded me of the trim. And then this is a large flip out of one of the pages in, oops, in the kit. I'm sorry. It's so pretty. And then there's lots of journaling space on the back of that. And then there's a tuck spot with another beautiful lady and some lace trim. Music page. Again, that lacy and then 
another journaling card here that came with the kit. Excuse me. Some vintage trim here. Another image from the graphics fairy. It just tucks in here and then this folds out so you've got some secret journaling space there. And then another piece of um, uh, the fabrics. This is some gold lame and some velvet and some sari or some uh, silk dupioni. And another gorgeous tag. I've added the die cut in the little label, another piece of sari, and here's the flip for this one. And there's the little tuck spot here with a little envelope and a little tag and another little Christmas ornament. Just tuck in there, again on this from Ruby and Pearl image. Some vintage lace there. This folds out, and again, this is all journaling space on here. Another beautiful tag. And that's the end. So those are the journals. And as I said, they will be available in my Etsy shop. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, I loved making these. I love working in this style of journal. And I think these kits were just beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a nice day.